and it's called dysphoria. I wish I didn't say goodbye without kissing her. Without touching her even though she asked me. Without telling her that I love her. Without giving my reason. I wish I didn't say goodbye at all. Maybe on most nights, my body's not made for loving. On most days, my body is only as good as this black t-shirt, fitted cap and baggy pants that I'm wearing. And my chest can't stand on its own without having to hide behind the band and just wrap around it. I camouflage my softness with men's cologne. And on most days, when I stare at my nakedness in the mirror, I hear it throwing lies at me. When I was young, I used to see this little boy in my reflection, but now I can barely see the feeling of a man in my mirror, and I just didn't want him to see my lies. The feeling of my skin extends to the unwanted feeling of being touched, as if my body does not deserve love until it corrects itself. That my lips are only worthy of a kiss when it has been sterilized with 12 bottles of beer. Do you know that I faked my courage when I asked you out? You said you were a guy kind of girl. And I told you that I am a guy, born in a completely different body. You just laughed at my conviction. And I must have had so many gods that you gave me your number and told me to text you. We went out on many dates. We spent almost every day together. I felt so right being with you. Every bit of my manhood was evident. You did not treat me any different. You always used he and his to introduce me to your friends, telling them he's a poet. He holds poetry stamps. He rides his bicycle like a maniac because he doesn't use his brakes. He only sleeps three hours a day. He works two jobs. Baby, you always reminded me of how manly I was in my black shirt and fitted cap. How handsome I was in my color. You always lift me when our bodies are locked in an embrace. You were always excited to see me. How you like holding my hand when we take a long walks on the streets. How you, like, how you like it when I put my arm around your waist when we stroll the mall. How you call me mister when I blow up smokes from my blunt or my wooden pipe. How you always thank me when I cook breakfast or dinner for you. How you like cuddling with me on my small sofa bed and you always allow me to be the big spoon. But every time you got close, I only gave you a kiss on your forehead. I never asked for more than a hug, and I always let go first. And you stare at me always wondering. And I told you that I only date women for the moment. That I only date for the experience. And that I just wanted to write about you. And that you should date other guys. And that I wasn't jealous at all. I wish I never said that. I'm sorry if I thought you weren't convinced, if I pushed you away. I'm sorry if you had to kiss him that night when it was my lips that you wanted to feel on yours. And when I got so hurt, the only thing I could say was goodbye. How stupid am I that I wasn't even mad enough for myself. It may be too late for us now, but I can never thank you enough that you made me realize a lot of things about me. I wish I had known it a little bit earlier. Perhaps I could have kept you, but now I know. My gesture, my hands, my arms, my body, my scent, my palate, my heart, me. I am more than enough. Thank you. Yeah.